heard of music therapy uh, are not sure what it is, and, and for many other people, they've never heard of it. We all have this vague idea that music is therapeutic and we can throw around the idea that music is our therapy when we're listening to some music to de-stress, but what is music therapy? Well, music therapy is a registered clinical psychological intervention which is uh, delivered by trained music therapists and it's regulated by the Health and Care Professions Council to ensure standards of proficiency are there. Um, and the reason it is regulated in that way is because it's, it's very similar to what we would look at as, say, maybe psychotherapy or sometimes cognitive behavioural therapy or, or what we would call the talking therapies. Um, whereas in music therapy we would be using very much the same theory and analysis, so a lot of our theories would come from psychoanalysis and we're psychodynamically trained, but we would just opt for using music and sounds as the main way of communicating with the client, as opposed to words. So that's not to say we don't speak, we do speak, and for some patients and clients it's easier to speak for, for a few sessions until they're ready to enter into music or play an instrument. And for other clients it can be very much the opposite where music is right there and ready and words are much more difficult to find. So we would use music as a way to communicate, as to take the pressure away from finding the words uh, and to, to remove that, that expectancy to be able to speak and articulate about your feelings and emotions, which can for many people be very challenging and very difficult. That could be because of a physical condition or that someone's living with where their speech and language is affected. Or it could be because simply the material, could be a trauma, could be something quite upsetting from the past, is, is very difficult and almost impossible to speak about. So we could use music and sound as a way of connecting and engaging around that issue without having to articulate those very painful thoughts and memories. And it's surprising what we can work through musically in that way and what things will come to light through the music that maybe we didn't know were there or maybe we weren't able to work through in any other way. So music therapy can be, apl be applied in all sorts of areas. It, as I say, it can be very useful for mental health, whether that's depression or trauma or anxiety, in young people and in adults. It can be used where there's relationship and attachment issues. Again, that can be with very small infants or it can be unpicking some of those issues later in life with adults or adolescents. It can be used in, in physical disability and working with motor skills and connecting with maybe a, a disabled relative or client's internal world through without speech and language being in the way, as it can be sometimes. Um, we can work with dementia patients to, to raise their spirits and, and make them feel less isolated in their experience and that can sometimes have a knock-on effect positively for many days. We can work in inpatient settings where people are either inside voluntarily or by, an, by some sort of order from a court situation. Uh, we can work in hospital settings like that as well. There's many different applications for it. Um, and as I say, it's, it's regulated by the Health and Care Professions Council, HCPC, uh, to make sure that when we're working with those kind of vulnerabilities and, and difficult conditions that we are trained to a standard where we can do that. 